it really shows the conference is not united. And it hasn't solved the problem. It's those they had taken out and myself, and you just put somebody else in and you haven't dealt with the consequences uh, for those who put us in this place. And I mean, that's why you look, we're still wondering whether government's going to be shut down or not. That, that's a real challenge. And we're going to have to heal ourselves to be able to serve the people. But won't the speaker confront the same problems that you had? No. Um, look, you get a honeymoon. Um, but it was personal. It was about an ethics complaint. Um, and they can't go through it again. I mean, think about how long it took last time. So do you think they would do that again? And I don't think, I think the Democrats also realize that it wouldn't be smart for the body itself. I mean, so even if he goes and, and relies on Democratic votes the way you had to do it, you think that he would be safe and not be pushed out of oh. the speakership? Oh, yeah. I, I don't think anybody can make a motion to vacate for the rest of the term. I, I, think, I think he's safe regardless. You really think that these, if, they, if he does something that upsets them, that nobody will try to push him out for the rest of the Congress? No. Why? What, what gives you that confidence? Who are you going to replace him with? You already taken out Steve Scalise. But some of them, they don't seem to care and think about this long-term strategy of this stuff. This is too important.